All right, for part three, we're going to do convex mirrors. And these are oftentimes called diverging mirrors uh, because they have a tendency to make light rays uh, diverge from one another or go apart. Uh, so first we will draw our mirror and our principal axis as is our custom. Put a negative sign here to remind us that this is a convex mirror. And uh, our focal point is going to be at one and a half units. And the important one here is on the uh, virtual side of the mirror. So we will draw a an object uh, three units tall here. And we're going to draw um, two rays. The first ray starts off parallel to the principal axis, and then it will reflect off as if it came from the focal point on the virtual side of the mirror. So it will reflect off like so, and we're going to get a virtual image, so it's important to backtrack our lines. And for our second ray, we're going to go right to the center. This is the one that uh, this is the rule that always works. A ray to the center will reflect off uh, symmetrically. Okay, so working on the iPad, I have a fancy ruler that tells me this is 50 degrees. Uh, so I can match that on the other side. But if you're using uh, traditional pen and paper, the best thing to do is Make yourself a little mark, one, two, three um, units down so that it's symmetrical with the object. And then you can line it up uh, with that point. I'll make it a little bit darker so we can see it better. And you'll see it matches up right with that 50 degrees. There we go. So I'll draw my ray through that point. And again, I will backtrack it. And I can see exactly where my image is going to form. So I'll go ahead and draw it. There we are. And so our object, our image distance is right at around one unit, it's just shy. And our image height is 1.2 units. So we have those, All right? Um, so we draw our focal points. Uh, we draw our object. We determine the location and height of our image. And uh, that's all there is to convex mirrors. Regardless of how close or far away you get from the mirror, uh, you're always going to form a virtual image uh, since those rays diverge from one another. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.